All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about my Green Bay Packers. I am so excited for this team this upcoming year. I think they have a chip on their shoulder. I think the low expectations are a recipe for a successful season. I do think the Packers will finish second in the NFC North. Detroit's going to be tough to catch, but the Packers, honestly, I think they're an above 500 team this upcoming year. I was reading an article Actually, I didn't even read it. I saw the headline to an article and it was talking about, you know, some analysts, some media guys saying the Packers have no talent at wide receiver. There's one thing I've really noticed about the Packers and their offense this upcoming season. I don't think many people are aware of who and what they have. Obviously, with the Aaron Rodgers departure, everything is revolving around Jordan Love. And I think we all can agree that the Packers' success this upcoming season ultimately depends on Jordan Love and how he does, right? We all know that. But we also know the Packers have a phenomenal roster. We know that. Aaron Rodgers did not play good last season. And the Packers, especially on the offensive line, at the running back position, at the defensive side of things, there are some studs on this roster. It is a playoff roster. So even if Jordan Love does not have a good season next year, the Packers are still going to win probably five or six football games at minimum. Now, I get it. Jordan Love, inexperienced. We have very limited sample size. But he has threats around him, all right? He has threats around him. I hate the narrative that the Packers did a bad job at surrounding him with talent. We obviously all know Christian Watson. Star potential wide receiver. We saw it so many times last season. We saw it with Jordan Love, actually. Christian Watson is wide receiver one, and a healthy Christian Watson in the NFL is plenty of talent. Christian Watson's plenty of talent, right? Romeo Dobbs out of Nevada. He also had an injury kind of riddled rookie season. But the brief flashes we did see of Romeo Dobbs, he killed it. And expectations in mini camps, OTAs before training camp begins tomorrow, all the talks were, it was just nonstop consistent praise for Romeo Dobbs. Now, I want to talk about rookies because the Packers had a phenomenal draft, and there's two rookies. Jaden Reed, Dontavian Wicks, that nobody really has any understanding of outside of Packers fans. And we're going to break it down right now. So before we get into it, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. I am a diehard Packers fan, so I know this video might sound a little bit biased. But if we could try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the world to me, Packers fans. You guys always bless my YouTube videos, so I appreciate you guys so much. Jaden Reed, second round draft pick, and then Dontavian Wicks, okay? I want to say this, and also I'm going to throw in Luke Musgrave on that list as well. So Luke Musgrave, the first, second round pick. Jaden Reed, the second, second round pick. And then Dontavian Wicks, the fifth round pick. There's a reoccurring theme with all three of those players. Their quarterbacks and their offense at all three of their schools, Virginia, Michigan State, and Oregon State. Oh my goodness, took that took a second. Were not good. They were not good offenses. They were not good quarterbacks. All, you know, no disrespect to those teams, but like Jaden Reed last season, underwhelming year 55 catches, 636 yards. There is a reason that their number one receiver is leaving Michigan State. Okay. If you are a Michigan State Spartan fan, you did not have fun at any point last season. Not only did they not win, but the passing, the, the offense was so lackluster. But the season before that, Jaden Reed, 60 catches over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. He averaged 17.4 yards per catch. All right. Now we look at Dontavian Wicks. Another thing, Virginia's offense, their quarterback situation last year, a complete and utter disaster. There was nothing there. However, Dontavian, in only eight games played, 30 catches, 430 yards, 14.3 yards per catch. But I want to flash it back to 2021, the year before. 57 catches, 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns, 21.1 yards per catch. If you notice the recurring theme with both Jaden Reed and Dontavian Wicks were they had horrible teams last year, horrible offenses, horrible quarterbacks, but there is so much potential and we've seen it. We've seen the talent. We see what these guys can become. 
with Jordan Love next season and Matt LaFleur's offense, they're going to have plenty of opportunities to shine. In fact, Jaden Reed's already penciled in as wide receiver three. But don't forget about Dontavian Wicks because this guy is quick. He is a playmaker, and so is Jaden Reed. The reoccurring theme with all four of my, my four favorite Packer wide receivers right now on the depth chart of Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, Jaden Reed, and Dontavian Wicks, they all have big play ability they all are versatile they're all creative they help the packers offense become more creative and more versatile and they're huge big time playmakers that takes a big load off of jordan love now even just speaking of jordan love you have the best running back duo in the national football league in aaron jones and aj Dillon, and you also have one of the best offensive lines in the national football league so all of that added together has me licking my chops and also we mentioned luke musgrave I got to say the same thing about Luke Musgrave at Oregon State last season. Horrible offense, horrible quarterback. Luke Musgrave like was basically almost all of their receiving. He has a lot of potential. And also Mr. Tucker Craft, the other tight end selected. I'm loving the tight end room. And I have not said that about a Packers tight end room. And I don't even know. I don't even know actually if I've ever said I, I love the Packers tight end room since like the Super Bowl run. So it's a great feeling to have. And then, guys, I want to pinpoint a couple of players on the defense. Obviously, you have Kenny Clark. You have a stud. You have a healthy Rashawn Gary this upcoming season. Rashawn Gary is a menace. And he was picked number 12 in the 2019 NFL Draft for a good reason. However, it is a big year for him. We want to see him fully healthy because we know if he's fully healthy, he's going to be a stud. Devontae Wyatt, the other first-round pick from last season with Quay Walker. Quay Walker as well. Quay Walker had two bad, just stupid mistakes, stupid decisions that left a sour stain in every Packers fan's mouth. But the thing is, Quay Walker had a really, really, really good rookie season, and he is a really, really good football player. You also have Preston Smith, Devondre Campbell, Jair Alexander, Darnell Savage, Razul Douglas, even new safety Jonathan Owens. Jonathan Owens had like 125 tackles last season. So welcome to the team. Welcome to Green Bay. That Packers defense, I know not everybody loves our DC. I know. I get it. However, there is so much talent on the defensive side that they are at worst going to be an average defense. They're going to be somewhere between, at worst, in my opinion, 10 and 16. So with a great running back room, with a great tight end room, with a really underrated wide receiver room, and a great offensive line. I think Jordan Love has plenty. And the good news for Packers fans is this. There are like at least four top 10 quarterbacks this upcoming season. So maybe Jordan Love sucks. You move on from Jordan Love, you take a rookie, and we got something to be excited about. That's if that's like worst case scenario. But I look at the Packers team, I look at the division, I look at the NFC in general, and I'm like, I still think they're an above 500 team. Obviously, it all is going to come down to Jordan Love, but I'm feeling hopefully optimistic about Jordan Love and what I've seen from him and the progression in the limited sample that we have of Jordan Love. So that's it for today, man. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit that sub button. Seriously, Packers fans, I love you guys so much. Uh, man, I love the Packers so much. Brett Favre, I have so many Brett Favre jerseys, and it's so cool to see Packers fans enjoy my Packers videos. Like, it's just a dream come true. So I appreciate all the love. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the wide receiver room and the Packers offense down below and give me a win projection. Peace.